Welcome guys, today we're going to do a user test for the website File Puma by Glarisop.com. Okay, oh, this is the website from which you can download tons and loads of free software and programs. So it is my personal recommendation that if you really want to download free software from the internet, this should be the website you should look for. Now, talking about the website design, the design of this website is quite simple. The landing page is divided into different sections which lists different categories of programs that you can download from the website. The programs range from security and firewalls, browsers and plugins, communications, developer tools, graphic designs to photos and images and much more. Although the uh, website design is absolutely simple, I still feel a little inconvenience because I need to scroll down a lot in order to look for different sections on this website. Although, I don't really understand the fact the categories are already present on the left hand side of this website. As you can see, there's a sidebar which actually gives you the ability to go to a particular category and then navigate to one of these subcategories. So, I don't really think there was a need to actually go ahead and put these sections on the front page. Instead, what I would have recommended was just to put in the popular softwares and the latest updates on the front page. That would have actually made this website more compact and look aesthetically beautiful. Also, uh, I do see a couple of problems with the website design. As you can see, in the middle of this website, there's this huge blank white space, which seems to be of no use and I don't really know whether the developers forgot to take it off from the website or they're just being a little lazy to actually get rid of that blank white space. Also uh, on the left hand side if you see right above the categories we have this share box which is kind of huge in size in order to contain a little thing like just the link tweet. Although if you see they already have this share this page link up on the right top hand side right over here which, if you click, will take you to the page where you can share this website on any of the available platforms. So uh, that's why I think there was no need of putting in the tweet on the left hand side in this huge blank box. And yeah, if, if you just notice along the bottom, they already have the share links like share to Facebook, Twitter, so I don't really understand the need of putting in the tweet up on the left here. For me it's just a waste of space. Okay now talking about the website menu bar as you can see it's absolutely simple as well. If you click on the windows it will take you back to the landing page of the website and if you click on the news it will take you to the page which is quite full of articles uh, ranging from simple Excel tutorials to actually some tweaks and uh, articles that actually help you improve the performance of your computer. And if you are a knowledge freak I would actually go ahead and recommend you to drill down into all of these articles since they actually provide you with a lot of good information and uh, if you really want to stay up to date with with all of the information, you should go ahead and check out this page. Over to the right, you have these recent posts and uh, categories are divided into two links. The ones are the how-tos and then we have reviews. You can also look back for the archives. A standard blogger profile, it looks like. Okay, then there is this link over here which says games and if I click on it, it actually opens up a different website and a different tab which lists some of the games I can play online. Okay, and up along the top you also have this link which you can actually click in order to download a free software which is basically an update detector. What it does, once you install it, it will automatically detect for any outdated programs on your computer and uh, it will automatically update them. Along the top, they have also provided the search box, which is uh, kind of similar for both news and uh, the programs page. And if you're looking for a particular program, you can simply search that in the search box. 
And if you want to change your preferred language, you, you can choose that in the pull down over here. Okay, some other things I really like about the landing page are these little balloons. Uh, these are the items that actually catch my attention. The reason is uh, they actually put it right next to the ones that are actually new or are popular. So if you really see one of the balloons right next to a software, uh, consider that as new or one of the popular softwares available on the website. Although uh, from a couple of days I haven't really seen anything new on this website. Either they haven't really updated it or maybe there are no other free programs available on the internet which they can list on their website. Next let's just drill down into one of those categories. So if I click on uh, developer tools, view more, it will take me to the page which lists all of the developer tools that are available on the website for download. The page is again uh, neatly divided into different little sections which actually gives you the title of the software along with the download now button and a little bit of description that you can see about the program before you download it. If you want to navigate to a different page in this category, as you can see, we have links over here. You can go to the next page by clicking the next link. If you want to download a software directly without looking at its technical details, descriptions, screenshots, and any prior versions available for the software, you can simply click on the Download Now button and it will take you directly to the page where it downloads your program. And it also gives you a short description before the actual download begins. And if you are a type of person that would like to look for the descriptions and uh, technical specifications for a program, instead of clicking on the Download Now button, just click on the title of the program, which will actually take you to the Program Information page, which lists all of the technical details about the program. It also lists the description of the program, and then you also have this link over here that you can copy and paste. If you have a website or blog of your own, you can paste this link on your website or blog. Over to the right, it lists the latest version of the program. And uh, something I really like about this website is that you can actually download the older versions of the program if they're available. And if you really want to download some really old versions of the program, you can click on the View More and it will take you to the page which actually lists all of the versions of the programs available on the website. Okay, I think that's pretty much it about the file Puma.com by Glarisoft. And if I were to rate this website on a scale from 1 to 10, I would give it 7 out of 10 in terms of design since there are some basic things that are lacking from this website. And in terms of navigation, the navigation is quite easy, but I would still rate it 7 out of 10. And in terms of new programs added to the website, I would rate it 6 out of 10 because I haven't really seen a lot of activity going on this website since a couple of days. And finally, in terms of the collection of programs available on this website, I would rate it 8 out of 10 since there are a number of other websites available out there that actually lists or contains more softwares that are actually provided on this website. So uh, the final verdict about this website is that if you really want to go ahead and download softwares that are virus, adware, and spyware free, you should always go ahead and uh, check out FilePuma by Glarisoft.com. And I think that's pretty much it for FilePuma by Glarisoft.com.